I'm vlogging here. Good morning, everybody. It's early in the morning and it's lunch packing time today. It's funny, this year the kids have wanted to me to pack them more lunches. They used to like school lunches a ton, but now they're like, my packed lunches are better. <laughs> Let's just say. Anyways, I was just making sandwiches and it was funny because I was thinking about we have to buy Miracle Whip and mayo in this house whenever we make sandwiches because Shay likes Miracle Whip and I like mayo. I don't like Miracle Whip. Blah, 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 blah. has lately expressed to me that he likes Miracle Whip on his sandwiches. So he clearly has the same taste as Shay and the girls have the same taste as me because they like mayo. Anyways, just a funny tidbit. Here's my beginnings of my turkey sandwiches for my children. And no, peanut butter is not part of the turkey sandwich. <laughs> Started out with peanut butter and jelly for baby tart, changed to jerky. Anyways, why am I telling you all this? Because I think that you want to know. Don't you want to know? Don't you? Hey, back time, show me your lunch box. Batman! Batman! <laughs> That's so cool. It's actually not a new lunchbox. It's Centard's old lunchbox, but he apparently his friends make fun of him, and he has a Super Man lunchbox. Yeah, that's Arthur. Say hi, Arthur. Hi, Arthur. Yeah, we're taking care of the nose dog while they're on vacation this week. Huh. And I'm not sure what he thinks about the big dogs. They're kind of overwhelming, aren't they? But he's handled them well. He's done a good job. Anyway, Centard. So your friends make fun of you if you have a Spider-Man lunchbox. I guess you're to that age, huh? Too heavy, well, he can't use his regular lunchbox because he got salsa all heavy. over in it. <laughs> so you're using a Target grocery bag instead of the lunchbox today, huh? At least it's not Spider-Man. At least it's not Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, my boy's growing up. It's sad when they become boys and they don't like their little, little boy things anymore. Oh, well. I guess I'm having another one. All right, my little builder. You helping Mommy? You're such a good helper. We're building a rocking chair. So, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm tired. So, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what a dork. Okay, we are building a rocking chair and Rock Hard is being super helpful. He loves it. Anytime I'm like building something or putting something together. You're fixing it with what? An Allen wrench. An Allen wrench, that's right. Good job. You're such a good helper. I'm excited about this chair because it cost much less than all the other chairs that I found. Like when you go to all the baby stores like Babies R Us or whatever, they're like $500 for a glider. I am not gonna pay $500 for a glider chair. So I got online and I found this one for $200. Let's hope it lasts. But I keep kicking myself for throwing my last one away because it was only like 100 bucks. And it was a metal one, it was pretty sturdy. The cushions were just kind of getting old so I gave it away but I'm like, I should have just reupholstered it. It's fine. We got Got it. This one seems to be good. We're gonna try it out and see. Oh, did it fall? No. That's okay. Well, I'll help you fix it, okay? Let's put it back on. I'll help you. Okay, you do it. It's upside down. You're so cute. He is a little builder. He loves fixing things. He loves working with his hands, doing like cooking, Building all those little things. He just loves it. I think it's so adorable. Spoiler alert. Spoiler, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I'm knocked up. Carly <laughs> Mar What? What? Oh, snap. All right, so these ladies are about to munch Wait, on some burgers. Burgers, Yeah, they are. All right, don't mind me, Kurt. Roll this. Let's get a great uh, one, shot. One second before we roll. Are you excited to have a bite? Well, it's kind of cold, but I'm still excited. You're still going to eat it, mm -hmm. aren't you? Are you guys going to, like, go crazy eating it? Is that the plan? I need to well, switch the frequencies on yours. We'll see what happens. Just go crazy. <laughs> just, you know, eat it like you normally do. Okay. A Thanks, ravenous guys. monster. I love how you're just both standing there and holding it. <laughs> Austin, you can't get a bite. It's my bite, guys. Oh, Here, show my cleavage. Seriously, guys? Ew. So, what do you mean, ew? <laughs> you mean, <laughs> young? Do it. Is that what you meant to say? So cute. Brittany, no. do you want to Ew! <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, you, you want just some... put it back in there. Ew! Do you want some ketchup on that? <laughs> Did you? Alright, here, I'll just... Those are your fries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're on set. Carly's doing a video. Don't watch it, it's stupid. <laughs> so this is Shay. Try. Get out of here, I'm getting mic'd. I'm <laughs> getting mic'd. Lava, lava. Lava, lava. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Shaking baby syndrome. Yeah, that is <laughs> so weird. What are you laughing at, Arthur? What? Like, I don't, I don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> what yeah. is that? A little rock tart. <laughs> he laughed. Grown up, seen a lot of baby. weird things. Daddy. Say, it looked like your belly was twerking. For it was. I <laughs> got the belly twerk tart. <laughs> belly twerk tart. <laughs> of lava. So ridiculous right now. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Watch this. I'm gonna go up and stop. It's like a water balloon. Watch it. Oh, that's what it's full of. <laughs> Baby in water. <laughs> I'm like going up in my truck and stopping. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Poor little tiger tart or whatever we're going to call him is in there like, Dad, what are you doing? Do it again. Okay. Ready? Hold still. <laughs> it's a water balloon. Today is a busy day. I already went and lifted weights this morning and then we went to Carly's and did a shoot. It's one of her like, don't be that whatever. It's don't be that pregnant chick probably assume by seeing the behind the scenes and uh, we just picked up the kids from school and now I have to head to Santa Monica to go to an Amanda Russell shoot uh, we're doing a Shay Law shoot we're already doing shoots for Shay Tober you guys join us get on board join the team I'm going right now to Santa Monica to meet Amanda Russell we're gonna do an exercise video and then tomorrow morning I'm shooting with my sister Carly Styles for another workout video so we're gonna have all kinds of different people involved in Shay Tober and uh, it's gonna be quite the month you ready to have a baby? So ready. You're so ready. October. Right <laughs> Dude, now. Think of all the weight you're gonna lose in October. I know, right? You will lose a lot of weight in October. How much weight that do you lose? So nice. Probably lose like 15 Ooh. pounds when the baby comes like out. Right when the baby comes out, maybe. Because the baby's like eight pounds. Then how much is like water, water and, and stuff in there? Stuff. It's probably like 12 to 15 <laughs> pounds, like in one night. Yeah. That's cray, I'm cray. Excited. We should weigh you right before, and then it like. It is. It's an amazing feeling. Like when the baby comes out, it's like just feeling empty. Is like right. whoa. Right. I can imagine. It's such a nice. It's feeling. like you know, those times you just take a giant dump, and you're like, oh, that feels good. The only thing that doesn't feel good is your belly still. Then it's like flabbing. It's not like, tight blah, anymore. Blah, blah, it's like blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Then it's like ooh, but it feels lighter. So it's. Whatever. Okay, so we're running home. I'm gonna upload the vlog, get into my workout clothes, and head to the shoot. What are you guys gonna do when you get home? Homework. homework. Clean your rooms, homework. Clean your rooms, homework. Clean your room, homework, sleep. Clean your room, homework. Clean your room, homework, sleep, sleep, sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are on set. Beautiful Santa Monica beaches. You know, my rings are right over there. They my beaches in the beaches. Yeah. Okay, Ronald. Hey guys. You ready for this, man? Look at this. So we got like real equipment and stuff. I'm virtually a professional. Virtually? He almost knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I 45% know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, what's the date today? The 24th? 24th. We're already shooting for Shaytober, you guys. We want to have exercise and routines ready for you. Practical information and knowledge that's going to help you get in the best shape of your life. Are you ready to feel amazing? Are you ready to feel fantastic? Alright. That's stupid. Here we go. I'm gonna start sweating here any minute. I've uh, been thinking about like what I want my goals to be because you gotta set practical, measurable, reachable, realistic goals to that you can like work towards because you have to have something that you can set where it's like, I wanna be able to do this by the end of Shaytober. So, one of the things that I decided because I was at the gym today doing shoulders, I was doing a push press, and I saw this guy in the gym doing power ups. You guys know what a power up? It's like when you do a pull up, and then you like pull up so fast and hard that you go up above the bar. Shane, show a power up. They're called muscle ups, dummy head. By the end of Shaytober, I want to be able to do five of those. And I don't know if that's going to like overreaching a little bit because I've never been able to do one before. But I think if I just like really just go all out and just lose, trim down and just work on my muscles, I feel like I could do five power ups. Muscle ups by the end of Shaytober. Plus, another goal I want to do is try to hit eight. What did we decide? Eight or nine or 10 percent body fat. What did what'd you say? Uh, we said eight percent. Eight percent has a six pack. I don't know if I can do. A six pack. I got. We got to find a place where we can Nine go and like ten. and measure my body fat oh, yeah. before. <laughs> we have to figure so out. So I know. I gotta start. I gotta know where I'm starting at. But if I want. You're at twenty. If I'm at twenty, I'm probably not gonna cut ten percent of my body fat. But I want to get down to a certain body fat percentage. I gotta figure out. I gotta be realistic with that too. So I'm already starting to think about my goals, about what I want to be able to do at the end of Shaytober. So think about your goals. What are your goals gonna be? So we're right here. The Third Street Promenade is just like one block over that way, and the uh, Santa Monica Pier is right behind us. And you know what's crazy about this spot? Who remembers what iconic moment 
in my life in Shea Tart's history happened right here. Leave it in the comments below if you remember. It's a vlog that made everybody cry because of old Mommy Tart getting all teary-eyed. Ron was there as well. Let's ask Ron if he remembers. Remember the last time we were here together? Oh, hey. Remember the last time we were both right here? What were we doing? Do you remember? What were we doing? We were running the Los Angeles Marathon. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the finish line right here. Oh. You remember that? <laughs> Barely. Like <laughs> it's a bad memory you want to forget. <laughs> yeah, dude, the finish line is right here of the Los Angeles Marathon. Okay, here we are with Amanda Good Russell. Job. You guys know Amanda. Hi. We've done stuff with her before. The very first time when me and Ron were doing the Tuesday weigh-ins, Amanda put us through a workout. You remember that? Our first meetup. Yeah, that was really? the very first that time. Was when it all I'm began. Still <laughs> we ran over here. I was probably 40 pounds heavier then, yeah, I, know, I, I think. Like, I, but I've even gained weight since like my marathons. Like I've really? like I bulked up a little bit, you know, man. I've been like doing some push-ups and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Amanda has who's this girl? You say? Laura. Hi, Laura. Amanda has a girl who works for her. She works for you. Yeah. And she said you should do. Shea, there's this guy named Shay Carly. He's on YouTube and he's doing this 30 day challenge. Hey, hi, Amanda. Boston hi. Laura. Boston College. Laura, I love you. Amanda's about to work me hi, out Laura. right now. I want you to make me throw up. You have not done your job until I vomit. vomit. I was telling Ron, I want to do like a, a music, like a workout montage, and I need a throw up scene. Because, like, you know, you get a good workout, you throw up. Or is that too much? When you feel like you're going to throw up, but you don't quite get there. Because you got to finish. Right, you gotta right, finish. right. Finishing boom. Okay, here we go. I'm ready to vomit. T minus five days till the start of October. I hope you guys plan on joining us and being on the Shea Lost Shea Tober team. If you have not, please subscribe to the Shea Lost channel, youtube.com slash Shea Loss. We have already shot like six videos that we are gonna have during that month. We're gonna try to get a video every day, at least one a day. We're gonna have so much content for you guys. There will be no excuse for you not to get in shape. If you don't do it, it is just because you chose not to. We will have a lot of things and tips and you know workouts and exercises and recipes and motivational tips and all kinds of stuff so if you're sick and tired of feeling sick and tired and you just you know you need that like just a month to just kick your body into gear and try to get in the best shape of your life or just to like refocus a fitness program come over to the Shea Loss channel we are a team we're gonna do this together we're all gonna interact and we're gonna make it happen Join us. Links below. Check out yesterday's vlog. Click on the Finland Lucky button. And if you want to see what the Shaytards are doing one, two, three, and four years ago today, because we've been documenting our lives for the last five years. That's a half a decade, ladies and gentlemen. Click on those corresponding numbers in the middle. Love you. See you tomorrow.